Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we'll unlock the book The Art of Dramatic Writing, its basis in the creative interpretation of human motives. A classic manual for playwrights, this book talks about how to write a play from scratch and how to see life, work, and humanity from a playwriter's point of view. If you're not a playwright, you might be wondering how this book can serve your needs. But after listening to this bookie, you'll understand that thinking like a playwright is useful for people in other professions as well. Thinking like a playwright makes us good storytellers. We often need to communicate with others, and telling a good story can help us earn their trust and attention. Moreover, it's one of the best ways to convey a message. Someone says that business is all about storytelling. Consider for example, when you're about to give a public speech or participate in a business talk. Would your audience or potential partners prefer to hear interesting stories or cold statistics? Those statistics are more objective and accurate than stories, people are much more easily moved by stories. Therefore, Storytelling Skills This book is a bible for every playwright, but also a useful guide that can help general audiences better understand plays. As Gilbert Miller a renowned theatrical producer puts it, once you read the art of dramatic writing, you will have no excuse for inarticulateness. You will know why any novel, any movie, any play, any short story was boring or more important, why it was exciting. To better understand and appreciate this book, let's learn more about the background of its author. Lajos Egri was born in Eger, Hungary which was then in Austria-Hungary in 1888. Egri was a child prodigy in playwriting. He wrote his first three-act play at the age of 10. He might be unfamiliar to you if you don't know much about the playwriting industry. But if you do, you probably know that his book has been a classic ever since its first publication in 1946. It's a must-read for students in film schools in many countries, including the UK and the USA. You can expect to find it on almost every Hollywood screenwriter's bookshelf. For example, world-famous director and screenwriter Woody Allen publicly praised this book. He said that without it he couldn't have won three Academy Awards for Best Original Screenplay for three of his films, Midnight in Paris, Han and Her Sisters, and Annie Hall. Next, we'll explore the major points of this book in three parts. Part 1, How to Create Characters. Part 2, How to Build Conflict. Part 3, How to Set a Premise for Your Play. Let's begin with a fundamental question of playwriting, what is the kernel of playwriting? Egri argues that character is at the heart of playwriting, and that plot must revolve around character. In fact, there has always been debate as to whether a play should be character-driven or plot-driven. In a plot-driven play, character is secondary to plot. Take the film Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels for example. Written and directed by Guy Ritchie, this crime comedy makes a perfect example of multiple plot lines. The twisted funny story develops around money, marijuana, and a pair of antique shotguns. As the film ends, the characters might not have left a deep impression on you, but you'll surely recall those ridiculous scenes. In a character-driven play, however, the plot develops as characters follow their natural growth paths. Take the 2019 film Joker for example. Though it's based on DC Comics characters, it's a psychological thriller film rather than a superhero film. The story is about how a harmless clown degenerates into a supervillain in Gotham City. The characterization is strong and includes proper transitions that build to the final stage. Though you may forget the specific plot, the psychopathic character of Joker is impressive. Character and plot are at different ends of the scale. It's difficult for even the best writers to balance them. Some 2,500 years ago, Aristotle wrote in his Poetics that the plot is the first consideration, and as it were the soul of the tragedy. Character holds the second place. This statement dismisses the significance of character, deeming it simply subsidiary to plot. Egri argues against Aristotle's claim by stating that though there are some great plot-driven plays, most of them are only good at best. 